Hello and welcome to Universal Love Law. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the uh, positive traits of each zodiac sign. So I was able to do uh, the positive traits of... Um, no, what am I talking about? Sorry. I was able to do the negative traits of the sign and just like some of those might and might not apply to you, the same thing with these positives. So don't say... Oh, none of the positive apply, but all the, uh, or none of the negative apply, but all the positive apply. No, don't say that. Because remember, experiences is what teaches us uh, how to respond and react to things. And how we respond and react is based on our uh, choices, which are positive or negative. So, um, so like someone that's more traumatized might respond with a more negative and only negative because it's coming from control, lack of power, lack of understanding, fear. These are all more negative reactions and responses. Now, the only way that a person evolves into the more positive is through positive experiences, positive interactions, positive influence, influencers, mentors, po positive influences. So when it comes to uh, Sagittarius, we're talking about the positive of Sagittarius. So, Sagittarius is mutable fire. So, these people are able to uh, adjust to the way they feel and how other people feel. And the ability to bring forth um, information, because it does deal with knowledge, well, by Jupiter. So, it does deal with bringing forth knowledge in a, a philosophical way, very spiritual way, right? So um, these, able, these people are able to go with the flow of others and blend into situations um, and be in tune with how they feel and, and kind of, these people have a very strong energy when it comes to influencing a room or influencing a group or influencing others. Uh, they have a very important and vital role, Scorpio, I mean, excuse me, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Risings. And or Scorp I mean Sagittarius stellium people. So their role is literally to teach others to be optimistic and think on a grand scale, think from a higher perspective. These that is really literally their role. So when they are able to live out their positive traits, they're able to show the world how to be optimistic, how to believe in thyself. So these people um, have a very uh, idealistic approach to their uh, what they feel as though they deserve. And I'm sorry, guys, but I have to get something else because my Sharpie thing um, highlighter is going out. But anyway, sorry. So these people are very optimistic and they're able to uh, bounce back from a lot of situations and before even getting stuck in a situation they automatically are able to extract the good the bad the ugly and ultimately choose the higher role choose the more positive reaction to things like let's say you lost your bus ticket um your phone died you don't have no money but you're gonna find some help you know, and you're positive about the situation. You're going to wait for that bus still. You're not going to go home feeling defeated. You're going to still wait for that bus. You know, you're going to go and you're going to ask, can I get a free ride? This is what's happening. These are This is the Sagittarius energy, that, that sheer will to keep going. So these people could be very lucky due to that. It's a very positive um, trait that goes along with the Sagittarius energy. They have this happy-go-lucky, positive outlook on life, which brings forth a lot of positivity because they are ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter, Jupiter brings forth wealth. It brings forth opportunities, and it brings forth wisdom. Wisdom that's attained through the knowledge from experiences, okay? So these people can also be extremely spiritual. So they could be in tune with um wanting to understand spirituality wanting to learn and teach okay so they are the teachers they teach people without even teaching them these people are just natural teachers they're naturally helping people everywhere they go like oh this is how you do this and usually it's a very detached form 
where um, they're like just showing you, okay, this all you gotta do, got it, all right. Like, whereas Virgo is gonna be like sitting with you through the process and all that, right? <laughs> uh, these people are very knowledgeable. So Sagittariuses are very intellectual, just like their counterpart or their opposite. Um, and so their knowledge can range from a lot of things dealing with spirituality or whatever field that they're in. Usually they move up the rankings and become like managers, even like CEOs. They're creators of things as well. These people are very knowledgeable, intelligent, uh, and they're precise. So they're able to really hone in on information and their their mind works as like a as a um like a rolodex they accumulate information to create a bigger whole or like a bigger picture so they like they understand the the depths of things right they come after that scorpio energy so they understand how to break things down to on a psychological level on a on a mental level they're able to break things down but the way that they deliver the information is on a higher um practical more bigger picture outlook so that's the way that they like to convert this in-depth information so they're very intelligent in that light another thing is they're very impulsive so if you were but the the um the very positive thing about the um sagittarius energy is their impulses can uh serve them in the right moment in time because usually they stand up for themselves and they stand up for others because they can protect people that are being bullied they don't like bullies i'm a sagittarius and i don't do that i don't play that it's been times where i just i have this level of fearlessness that i don't even understand it's like being just facing death looking death in his eyes and i don't know maybe that's my scorpio stellium energy but i really feel like that scorp that sagittarius's are very impulsive and they can be protectors okay in the moment in the heat of the moment they will respond they're very logical and smart they're like okay you did this to me or you did this to one of my loved ones okay now they and they're extreme so they're gonna go out their way to show you not to never do that again and they get all these creative ideas straight from jupiter right they're gonna expand their mind on how they're gonna show you not to do that <laughs> right i don't know but they're very brave but they're very helpful they'll they'll help people anyone that they care about anybody a stranger you like where some signs they feel like oh i don't like i don't know you like why are you asking me for help like you know or something like these people are the navigators they are the guides hey you want to oh go that way you know they are that so um these people um they live life to the fullest and usually they're the life of the party like i said earlier with the gemini the gemini will bounce around the party and talk to people and you know cheer people on where is the wherever the sagittarius is they're attracting people to them and they're usually loud and they're very they 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 just bring this energy where you either love them or hate them it's like you want to go over there and laugh with them but then it's like i don't know because usually sagittarius energy they are very uh they have this very strong energy to where a person would think that they're mean but they're really not like one time this girl told me i was at this party we were playing uh dominoes and i'm sitting at the table i'm playing with guys it's my family so i'm playing with guys and they're like, and oh, the girl, she walks in and she sees me and I'm like playing, I'm having fun and I'm like laughing and I'm going with the flow. And then when I got up the, from the table and I walked up and I was like, hi, she was like, you are so smaller than what I thought. And I'm like, what do you mean? But I get what she meant. Like, I, I can possess this bigger than life energy. And like, and then when I walk up to you, I'm like, hi, he's like, whoa, you're so gentle and small. Like what? Uh, but you know, they have this strong dem demeanor and you can, you can foolishly think that it's coming from like a, they're intimidating, but really they're just, they just naturally possess this optimistic, positive, bigger than life type of energy. So it can be, um, misunderstood. So these people are the life of the party. 
um, but they're very logical when it comes to spirituality. They're able to break down complex concepts. They're into that, right? That's where that Jupiter energy comes from. They're intellectuals, very independent um, and philosophical. So these people, they, the, so this could be a good and bad thing, right? So they're able to paint the picture and create understanding. They usually turn uh, complex concepts into stories and like to add meaning to things. Um, and like to say the moral of the story a lot. They're they're philosophical, uh, which is beautiful for our students, uh, but it can be nerve wracking for people that are tired of hearing the preachiness, right? Um, but these people are firm and fair. They do not play sides. They do not. Um, it depends. Like if if it's like you, my we on the same team. Like I, I'm you. I'm your. You my teammate. I'm choosing you. But you know they really stand for fairness. Even if the person they love is wrong, they'll tell them like, I love you, but you know that's wrong. <laughs> so uh, they're very big explorers. They're into learning new cultures, new foods, new places, new journeys, new experiences, new everything they and they like to just fully engulf into different forms of culture different forms of music different forms of anything anything that can add to that that rolodex of information that they're collecting to create this bigger picture of everything like these the sagittarius energy ninth house energy rules written um publishing right being able to bring forth a lot of information uh and in-depth information right so these people are funny they have a very big sense of humor everywhere i go usually i i know i keep talking about myself sorry i'm a sun sad so uh but sun moon rising or sagittarius stellium people uh they have usually have a sense of humor and they like that because it lightens the like the intensity they could talk about intense things and add humor in there to keep it going and keep the way like the air that the keep things clear uh from intensity or just changing things up that's why they get along really good with signs that like to change ever changing um signs that like to stay in one feeling or one thought process or fix they could find the sagittarius energy all over the place you know but um yeah, so they're very carefree, which can be a very positive thing. It can help them overcome a lot of their hurdles or a lot of their challenges or a lot of the things that they experience it on a more negative level. So uh, when it comes to their relationship, um, the positive thing about Sagittarius in a relationship is they strive to push their partner to their best to becoming their best whereas the virgo energy they want to help their partner become the best as well uh but they are on every level level from a micro to macro like the way you carry yourself the way you dress the way you talk they want to just help their partner all around whereas the sagittarius is more so like the type of partner that will push their partner to accomplishing their goals and achieving and going after their dreams and making their dreams a reality they believe in their partners but let me know what you think about the positive traits of Sagittarius below in the comments peace